Well, this process is lithography. Most everybody's heard of lithography, but this is the original form. My name is Cole Rogers. I am the master printer and artistic director and one of the two founders of High Point Center for Printmaking. I'm Carla McGrath, Executive Director at High Point Center for Printmaking. I'm a co-founder as well. There are four major forms of traditional printmaking. One is relief printing, which would come printing off of a carved wood block or any raised surfaces. Another form of printmaking is called intaglio, or a lot of people know this as etching. There's also lithography, another process, and screen printing, which perhaps if you know about prints at all, you've known it, you've heard about screen prints. I think that we're developing a really good reputation as a studio that takes on important works, large works, complicated works, and in multiple media. We're very happy to say that uh, Minneapolis Institute of Art, the Walker, the Museum of Modern Art, uh, the Whitney, uh, there are probably 15 major museums across the country that all have our work in their permanent collections. It's really a lot of fun to show people the work that we make here. One of uh, the local artists that we work with is Carolyn Swizz. So this is a combination of screen printing uh, and also um, some lithography was used for the sidewalk texture. So often with the huge umbrella of printmaking, you can combine the different techniques and really create some very interesting work. Now this is some tape on mylar, and it's, a, uh, it's sort of the mock-up for what the print was to become. I'm Todd Norstein, and I make paintings and drawings and prints. There's like several layers on this, and you, you can't print this all at once. They have to be printed a few different times so that you can get this uh, overlap kind of stuff in here and that it will give the, the uh, dimensionality to it. And that's all like Cole's uh, magic. In the history of painting, it was tape also sort of came about making hard edge abstract abstractions. It has become like a brush, you know, or a paint. You know, it's for, for making a straight line, you know, tape's pretty pretty good way to do it. So it's kind of like a picture of a, a paint material. This was a really uh, fun print to me, for me to show to other people, both when we were in New York and Baltimore at the print fairs, people would come by and, and look at this and I'd, I'd have to say, that's not tape. And people would look at me and say, well, no, it is tape. The first tape painting that is this color doesn't have this overlap that in it. And that's really part of what makes that look more, more like tape. The overlap becomes its own kind of shape. So, you know, like there's this, uh, like this shape right here, this triangle shape, but then there's the shape within the overlap that's each one of those is a little bit different too. Each of these pieces need to be printed separately so that we get the, the overlaps, but they need to be printed quite a few times. We printed most of these layers at least seven times as a base to build up the ink layer. It's really important in the best collaborations that it's fairly seamless, so it doesn't matter whose idea it is. It's always trying to work together to make something that is surprising, exciting, and the best, best thing that we can do. Well, and it's important that we're making something that's an original uh, rather than a reproduction of something else. So this is the early stage and we won't really know what the exact piece looks like until we actually start proofing it. I mean, printmaking isn't just um, something that, that is a reproduction of a painting or a photograph or anything. Uh, it, it's a unique piece of art. So when Cole lays all these the separate mylars on there, it, it adds up to what the other one looked like underneath it. Right. 
printmaking is entity unto itself like drawing is or like painting is. And so it's, it's not, it stands entirely on its own. Okay, so we're getting ready to coat the screen with the photographic emulsion. You only get one chance with that, and then you get to clean the screen out if it didn't work correctly. Now that our screen is dry, it's ready to be exposed. So I take Todd's drawing, place it on this exposure unit, and take the dry but light sensitive screen and put it on top of the drawing. Now once again, the areas that are open on the drawing will not block the light. So the light's going to harden the, this emulsion. The areas that the light's blocked in will stay soft and wash out. This is the very final layer. It's probably the 30th time that's been printed on. And this is a very subtle, uh, just kind of satiny gloss. I'll go on top of the tape areas to make it look like uh, that satin that you see on a piece of tape. Okay, Molly. So these smudges, Todd worked on very carefully using charcoal, producing these drawings for us, which in fact, this is the drawing that he made for this. And then we ended up printing it in a very, very light gray to make it look a little bit more smudge-like. This is maybe a little bit too apparent to his eye. All of these should be essentially alike and hopefully we've got at least 10 good impressions and if we're short we'll have to see if any of those can be cleaned up. But also Cole's standard for what is good and acceptable is very different than mine because my standard is like you know a little bit less than close enough you know he's he wants them to be exact and precise and and I don't, uh, I don't have to have it like that. A great print to me is something that can't be made in drawing and it can't be made in painting. I'm very, very glad to, uh, to be at this point. It's, uh, it's been a fun project. But it's He's glad to, to have me out of his hair. Yeah, it, well, it's time it to start selling hair. them now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he does the hard work and I do the lazy work. It's, it's a great team. Got <laughs> Some things work out like that. <laughs> Pretty much so my job is to work with people like Todd and uh, make the best work possible and be the guy that has to stand behind the work and say it's the best quality that I personally can produce. <laughs> <laughs>